another work week in my life as a data scientist. So yesterday was a Sunday and I got a Slack message from my manager asking how I felt about flying down to Melbourne literally today to help out our managing director with running a workshop or like a client masterclass tomorrow morning in very me fashion who hates spontaneity and hates being put on the spot. I was originally thinking, is this really necessary? Do I really have to fly down to Melbourne for this? Can it not be done online? But then the more I thought about it, the more I realized that this was actually a really good opportunity for me to step up when the company needed me and at the same time develop my leadership, communication and presentation skills because things like this don't come up that often. So I spent my day yesterday booking some very expensive last minute $600 flights. So I flew down today at 5.30 p.m. back tomorrow at 3.30. So literally only staying here for this one workshop at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Um, I also booked in a hotel at Meriton on King Street which as you would have seen from my apartment to it is very very lovely so in terms of my actual work day today it has been very hectic just with this whole thing being thrown on me last minute i've been up since 8 a.m working on these slides i then had a 10 a.m catch up with my direct report just to talk about her action items and how she's going with everything it was just her weekly catch up along with a bunch of huddles just with our managing director to sync up on who was going to be presenting what and what the structure of these slides were going to be. I also went to Pilates at lunchtime. Originally I wasn't going to go to the gym but then I thought it's good for my mental health and I was also on a day 16 streak that I didn't want to break. And then I spent the rest of the afternoon in focus time just working on the slides and putting together the key action points that I wanted to talk about. And I had a 3.30 Uber to get to the airport around 4.30 for a 5.30 flight ended up doing a bunch of work. So by the time I was done just traveling to the hotel, checking in, unpacking and getting my Uber Eats for dinner, it was already 9.30. I have a pretty early morning tomorrow because we're all meeting at 8.30 in the office to do a rehearsal. I'm gonna get off my camera now because it is almost out of battery. Bye bye. Hey everyone, it's currently 8.05 and I just got ready for this workshop meeting. Um, the meeting's at 8.30 and it's around like a 10 minute walk from my hotel. I am almost packed. So right now I've just got my laptop here that I'm just going to bring with me, jacket, my work bag, make sure I'm not going to forget the passes. I think that's pretty much it. Just one night, didn't unpack that many things. Look at how miserable it is outside though. Ugh, gross. So this is my outfit of the day. I have got on this top and dress set and you can't see my shoes but... I mean, like, casual sneakers. But yeah, we're gonna get going now. Bye-bye. I'm spending the rest of my evening planning on my upcoming YouTube and TikTok content, in particular scripting some voiceovers that I need to record. I have recently been trying out Scrintle who have kindly sponsored this portion of the video. If you haven't heard of them before, they are a web app that combines mind mapping with visual note taking. Think of it as a digital notebook that will help you brainstorm and manage all of your creative ideas in one place. Scrintle contains the note taking abilities of Notion and Confluence together with the whiteboard, project management, brainstorming feel of Miro and Figma. So pretty much the best of both worlds and it is extremely easy to pick up. 
for me, the ability to visualize and scribble something down is so, so important. I've always loved sticky notes and writing out checklists. And anyone who knew me back when I had a Windows laptop should know that my desktop was always filled with sticky notes. What I appreciate about Scrintle is that they understand our creative thought process is often very messy and definitely non-linear. I am someone who enjoys drawing out mind maps and planning how to get from A to B, in particular for my work where I'm often working on very long projects with little idea of what the end state would look like. Scrintle has features like cards and boards where you can add your own tags, PDFs, links, images and bullet points. I think about each card like a sticky note that has infinite space and can be reused and a board almost like a notice board to pin up each sticky note. I find Scrintle particularly helpful in organizing my YouTube content, planning and scripting out my videos, my thumbnails, and what B-roll and voiceovers I have to film. Before this, I was working out of a Google Doc and my iPhone notes, which probably wasn't the most ideal. Scrintle really helps me embrace my completely random ideas that I can then sort through and connect visually in a virtual environment. They're still pretty early stage and very transparent with their roadmap and receptive to feedback. So if you would like to check out Scrintool, please use my code Vivian10 for 10% off your subscription. This code is only valid for four weeks since the day my video goes live. So please, please take advantage of it. Thank you again to Scrintool for sponsoring this portion of the video and I will see you bright and early tomorrow. Bye. Loves me in a locker and picks you up right after school. Yeah, he can catch a football. Guess that makes him a catch to you. Oh, I don't, I don't understand how you're still handing him your crown while he only brings you down. Yeah, I know I don't have a chance, but. Friday everyone, I cannot believe it is December already. 
I thought that I would pop in here and wrap up this work week video. I'm sorry that I didn't get a chance to film as much as I would have liked to, which is why you're going to be seeing a lot of clips of me cooking throughout the day. Monday and Tuesday were write-offs with the entire Melbourne trip, and the last three days have just been knee-deep in a data science modelling project. We implemented something a few months ago and we're just doing a version 2 based on initial stakeholder feedback and I am in the data prep phases right now. Life has been feeling pretty slow. I've just been working and doing Pilates every day. Exercise has really been my saving grace and really really good for my mental health and apart from that I've been spending time with family and friends leading up to Christmas. I have to admit that I've been unmotivated to get out of my comfort zone and make plans with people and I'm also at a content creation crossroads thinking about where I want to take my channel in 2024. Do I go back to doing more data science heavy technical videos or should I stick with more day in the life casual vlogs where I talk about my life and my experiences working in tech in Australia? Please let me know down in the comments below it'll really help me out. I know I've only done 9 long form videos this year so thank you for being so patient with me and to Scrintle for sponsoring today's video. As always take care stay safe and I will see you in my next one. Bye bye!